Train at Tara Lang will be looking forward to a good couple of runners on Friday and joining me this morning is Gavin Fenter to run through their chances. They kick off in race one with Karoo Magic and uh, Love and You Baby, both first time affiliates Karoo Magic by Willow Magic and Love and You Baby by Curari. Yeah, uh, Karoo Magic, I put her through the pens last Monday, she gave me a nice feel. She, she was a little bit green but I still think she could run into the placings. And loving you, baby, she jumped with the, out the pens with me. She was quite green and she'll need it. In race four, we'll see Kiss of Life and this filly in picture, Buttercup. Yeah, Kiss of Life carrying a lot of weight, not the best of draws, but she has come down into a, a much weaker division. Uh, this is where she actually needs to run, so she could run into the placings. And Buttercup, also not a good draw, but it doesn't really matter where she draws because yeah. she comes from way off the pace. She's got a nice galloping weight. I think she's got a good chance. Another who looks to have a fair shot will be in race five, and that is Gold Rock, who's holding steady form. Yeah, Gold Rock, very unlucky last time out. He got interfered with the uh, latter stage. Unfortunately, the jockey who caused the interference got a suspension. He should have won that day. He's, I felt he was better on the grass. I think he's got a big chance here. In race six, Razor Red. Last time out was scratched due to the racing moving to Polly, but he's going to give it another crack this week, and he was a good third last time out. Yes, Razor Red, we try and keep him for the grass. Uh, we don't really want to run on the poly. But, uh, yeah, uh, luckily um, we've, we had this race. I re-nominated him and uh, we took him out for last uh, Friday to run this Friday. He uh, surprised me. I thought he'd run nearer last than first and he ran third. So it was a very good run. And if he improves on that, yeah, he must have a good chance. Moving on to race eight and we'll see Izzy Estia. Yeah, she came back from a very long break. She needed the run from a bad draw again this week. She's in again this week. She'll probably need it. Maybe a place, but she'll probably need it. Two horses to round up. Stolen Kiss, who placed well last time out, and what a blizzard. Stolen Kiss, a little bit unlucky last time out. Things didn't really go her way. Um, she could have run a lot closer. She's back in the 1,000. I think this is a preferred distance, so she, I think she's got a good chance. And then the what a blizzard. What a blizzard. Very disappointing. She has dropped in the division. She's got a nice galloping weight, so we're hoping this is this could be her last run, but we're hoping that she runs a better race. The yard definitely have a few to consider.